92 million tons of textile waste yearly. How can we recycle more efficiently? In today's episode of Explained, we are going to talk about the methods of textile recycling and how the North can contribute to more, towards a more efficient process. Let's learn a bit more about textile recycling in general. Textiles have been recycled since the 18th century, when wool fibers needed to be garnered into new yarns due to virgin wool shortages. Today, the market for recycled textile fibers continues to evolve and grow rapidly. It is becoming more crucial to develop reliable processes to keep up with the amount of textile waste. Textile waste at the manufacturing level is considered pre-consumer waste, and it's much easier to recycle because the fibers, dyes and finishes are known. Post-consumer waste, on the other hand, is of unknown origin and varies in quality and condition. That makes it much harder to recycle. Ongoing research focuses on the problem of processing used and mixed fibers. And this is where Zenorix comes into the picture. Is there a way to sort textiles, especially post-consumer waste, more accurately? How can our technology contribute to a more efficient recycling process? Let's talk about mechanical processing. It is the most commonly used technique to recycle textiles. Cotton, for example, can be recycled through mechanical means, after separating it from different materials. Another commonly used material in mechanical processing is polyester. However, in this case, the recycled materials are not polyester textiles, but plastic bottles. Similar to cotton, the PET plastic is shredded into slices and washed to remove containment. The dried, shredded plastic is molded into PET pellets and undergoes extrusion to create new fibers. Chemical processing, on the other hand, is typically used on synthetic fibers. Also, for example, on PET. These fibers can undergo a breaking down and recreation process. This process is not yet widely used, but there are companies that are researching and implementing chemical recycling. Unlike the mechanical method of recycling, chemical recycling produces high quality fibers, similar to virgin fibers. So how can Zenorix contribute? At Zenorix, we develop solutions to identify and quantify textiles more easily. Our Xenocoder, the handheld device, enables you to determine textile compositions quickly and easily. For example, it can tell you whether a fabric is made from cotton, polyester, silk, or wool. It even lets you quantify materials and tell you the percentage of each fiber present in the textile you measured. So for example, it might tell you that your textile is made of 20% cotton and 80% polyester. This ability can be utilized to sort textiles more precisely, and it will improve the recycling process. Textiles, especially post-consumer textiles, can be pre-sorted and recycled based on their exact composition, rather than creating more unidentifiable waste. So you can recycle them more correctly. So what have we learned today? Due to the growing amount of textile waste, the recycling industry is on the verge of change. Zenorex is one of many innovative companies that is trying to develop solutions and technologies to make textile recycling more efficient and sustainable. What do you think? How should we face the increasing demand for fast <clears throat> and reliable recycling processes? Get in touch if you would like to learn more about the possibilities of using the Norex technology for textile recycling, or if you are in the recycling business and would like to collaborate. We are looking forward to talking to you, and I will see you next time for the next episode of Explained.